he fucking turns the car around. We're going to the stop sign that is 40 yards from our house. He goes, I'm fucking a couple older bitches right now. <laughs> Are you serious? I swear to God. And I go, really? And he goes, yeah, man. He goes, I got a theory. I go, what is? He goes, women in their 60s, it's like their pussy comes back to life. Oh and I God. go, all right. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, yeah, man, they just want to fuck, want to fuck, want to fuck. And I go, cool. He goes, the body's sometimes tight, but they can't hide that face, man. All fucking wrinkled eyes don't look him in the eye. And I go, okay. Wow. <laughs> this is your driver. This is my driver. How about you and look then, straight ahead, <laughs> motherfucker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Put that sifty strategy. We waited three hours for you to arrive. And and we would have waited forever because I am you sorry. Are I the, already apologized. I'm sorry. You are the Thomas, Sir Thomas, Sir Thomas. Okay, and we know. Um, I'll tell you this. What? This is a this because this is actually just more wholesome than the only other time that I completely forgot I was scheduled to do a podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is the second time. Yeah. Today I was at a big tennis match. You know, I was out in the sun. I got home, shower, I'm laying on the couch. Literally, Andrew's like, "Let me know when you get there," and I was like. Fuck. Right? And I just panicked. <laughs> yeah. Got my kid dressed and I was like, yeah, you guys gotta watch him. And I just jumped in the car and the last time was in twenty God, I wanna say this is twenty twelve. Holy shit. But I remember it like it was yesterday. And I had agreed to do the Sklar Brothers podcast. Which is one of the best. They're great. They're great guys. And they're like, Hey, will you uh, you know, come on, on Friday and we'll see you at, at, at noon? And I go, Yeah, okay. I'm jerking off, looking at my phone, <laughs> watching yeah. porn, like stroking my dick. And it's yeah, just, yeah. you know, the, the, the iPhone thing drops. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's yeah. like Randy Sklar. And I'm yeah. like, and, and as soon as I see his name, I'm like, fuck. So he's yeah. like, are you close? And I was like, to coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, yeah. Have you guys ever done the. Uh, the paid for an abortion? No, no. Oh. The Denver Improv. Yeah. Have yeah. you ever paid for an ab- Six, seven, I don't know. <laughs> that was like early rap when when right. when they when the rappers would be like, What what rhymes with lotion? Right. Potion? Right. And then Ocean, that would, motion. And you start listening, like I listen to backspin a lot on yeah. XM and every once in a while you hear one where you go, How did this get recorded? <laughs> <laughs> uh, me and my girl we're rubbing the lotion and all she right. can do is think about swimming in the ocean you're like right. this made it you got a record deal with that right. like that's horrible man that was awesome back then though no one was right. doing that no yeah. one had rhymed words in public right. i guess and i was like i want to take a truck stop shower too you know i want to <laughs> i want to get it yeah wanna... but don't you run the risk of getting stabbed you get you also run by the risk, like uh, drifters and you also could like meet a cool guy a cool lot list <laughs> yeah well, then the truck stop shower conversation led to what else happens at truck stops? Right. Good I things. Was like, I, was like, I was like, hey, are there a really, he's like, lot lizards? Yep. <laughs> and I go, what? <laughs> I, I, go, like this, I like the phrase, lot lizards. Lot lizards. He's like, oh, yeah, they're there. Uh, <laughs> I go, what happens? He goes, they knock on your door. <laughs> they knock on your door. They'll just come up, sneak through the... the a lot yep. lizard. <laughs> and then you know they they ask you if you want some and i go are they everywhere and he goes not everywhere he's like california sure has a few the nice yeah. weather yeah <laughs> the lot lizards aren't afraid and then sometimes it's a different arrangement <laughs> sometimes he said like you'll know like the driver mm. will like obviously re- like knows someone in the area you'll see like cars pulling in that they're Clearly, it's been arranged, like maybe arranged beforehand. You mean? Yeah, like the guy knows that this girl works in this area. This lizard. So the lizard will show up, <laughs> and then uh, have. I was like, "Oh, what's that like?" He's like, "I don't know about that." Yeah, sure. Yeah. So, he doesn't know. I'm like, you. He's know. like Deb. I don't know what's you a lot know lizard? about these lot lizards. And I don't he's like, know. No. I'm so innocent. Uh, I'm anyway. just a dummy. Yeah, I wouldn't be in a lot lizard. But I would. I I would like. I mean, I think a fun fantasy. Uh. Would be like a stranded girl, you know, uh-huh. who's like, okay, moving I along. I don't have any way to get to. <laughs> I already know I, where this is I going. Don't know Dirty how John, to get to, Dirty Tom, to Dallas. I'm stuck here. I'm like, oh, I'm going to Dallas. <laughs> you are. Yeah, come on over. And then she gets on the bus. I'm like, now you got to pay the toll, you know. And then like, what you do is. <laughs> He's really encouraging you, uh, Blue Band you, Radio. Uh, you you just wear her out, and you know, and wear bus. her out. What do you mean, <laughs> babe? You know, and the bang bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you told me you guys take your turns on the lot. That's lizard. what I'm saying. Well, I'm yeah. saying with this stranded girl. Yeah, as like she gets the business uh-huh. from me, 
I give it to my stranded girl. <laughs> I give it to the opening act. He runs through her, mm-hmm. then the driver takes it, his turn, uh-huh. and then we drop her off nowhere close to Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and that sounds she's like she's like, a where neat is thing. this? And I'm like Montana. Good luck. Yeah. You shouldn't hitchhike, you stupid bitch. There, no, I wasn't going to go that far. Did you ever grow up in an area where people were slipping on ice? Yes, yeah, so I, I lived in the Midwest. Ooh, that, to me, the I slipping know. on the ice might be... Because when you slip slipping on ice... Slipping on ice is hilarious. Yes. And yeah. deadly. Yes, but funny before death. Yes. Nope. The best part is when you slip, it's that when you hit the apex and you almost freeze for a second, mm-hmm. that's my favorite. I've eaten shit on oh. ice. So many so times, horrible. seriously, Runny. yeah. Oh right. my god, it, nothing hurts more. And the the time that you actually do it is when you're like, you're distracted. You're like, oh, all right, we got to go, and you just walk out the door like you normally would, and you don't realize that there's an ice patch either on those stairs, on the sidewalk, and you will with force and momentum. Yeah, I mean, just absolutely eat shit. It's funny to watch, really? but like I know a dude who died. He slipped oh, on the ice, cool. hit his head, and he died. Uh, freshman year of college yeah mm. what yeah. he was a freshman he was a freshman in college not anymore. Yeah. no he's not he's dead now mm-hmm. <laughs> but he's <laughs> not anymore <laughs> remember when you were a freshman in college and before alive you died? <laughs> <laughs> not anymore uh, do you have a guess? Uh, okay, okay. Now, the fact that she can speak clearly means there's nothing in her mouth. So I'm going to go with not dick sucks. Originally, I thought dick sucks. Obvi. So it's not a dick suck. I'm thinking she said there's a fist and a cock. You got I'm, Yeah, good good at ear. Thank you. I'm going to go with she's got a fist in her b-hole and a cock in her v-hole. Wow. Uh, Nadav, can you weigh in? Yeah, I'll say, Christina, you're really close. Uh, there is a fist in the V-hole, uh, <laughs> and there's nothing in the B-hole. He sounds kind of bummed out about wow, it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so bummed out? Yeah, what's out? the problem? Well, I got a text last night <laughs> at around 9. I was getting ready for bed. Because, <laughs> you know, we have early call times on show days. Yeah, and? And Tom just sends me very vague links to heavyr.com. <laughs> That are just category links. Yeah. And he's like, hey, go in here, find stuff that sounds funny, looks funny, and prep it for tomorrow. And it's like, I'm supposed to be in the studio in 12 hours, and Tom just assigned me half a day's work. Yeah. And did you stay up till two in the morning? No. I told him, hey, can we push this to maybe next week? He's like, get at least a couple. And I'm like, okay. Uh, you're so, where did you find this website? Well, here's the thing. That's a really cool story. Go ahead. <laughs> I have learned what the R stands for in heavy, R.com. You don't have to share it. Um, <laughs> What's R? No, no, no. Because so, it ruled out a lot of the clips that I thought would have been fun, but... I just learned it after you told me, don't worry about it. Uh, you watched a new Ted Bundy? Yeah, it's interesting. I, I could be very wrong. He was a real rascal, that guy. <laughs> he was. He was, man. He was a roustabout. He was a knucklehead <laughs> if I ever <laughs> saw one. Um, <laughs> he, he, uh, it's uh, so it, was Hitler, by the way. <laughs> Hitler had some bad ideas. Who was one of the cr- most unique people that ever came out to see you perform, or somebody that shocked you that that was like at the show or something? Yeah, hmm. I'm trying to think, man. I'm trying to think of a good one, too. I don't have an answer really, but did Tyson ever come to one of your shows? Tyson came to my show in Pittsburgh, yeah. Wow. That was that was pretty wild. I mean, Tyson Chandler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's weird. I mean, to be like hanging out with Mike Tyson in the green room. Oh, Mike room, Tyson. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. Like, to like and have him just like hang out and smoke cigarettes in your green, like in a green room smaller than that room, and you're just like, what's up? And like, how many white dudes would it take to jump Mike Tyson now at his age? Right Beat now? Him? Yeah. Depending on the type of dude. Um, what about you and me? Oh, no, we'd yeah. be dead. We'd be dead. I wouldn't be do dead. it. I wouldn't do it. My uh, older sister, I have an older sister and a younger sister. My older sister. Your older sister is 92. 92 years old. Wild. It's crazy. Yeah. We we're born so far apart. <laughs> um, <laughs> but she uh, she has been the, per- the, the person at fault in 13 or 14 car accidents. What? Yeah. Take her license away. I know. That's it. What state is this in? 
A few, but mostly <laughs> in Wisconsin and Florida. She's a national problem on the road. She's it's unbelievable. Well, time out. Let me ask you something, not to cut you off. Yeah. In Wisconsin, there isn't a three strike law, so maybe that's why she. Because you know, that's where she started driving. Okay. Because because I don't know if you know this. This is a, we used to joke about this in Chicago. Wisconsin has no law for, in DUI culture. If you get three DUIs, you have a license. Uh, your license is expelled for the rest of your life, right? In you, yeah. well, three strike law states: California, yeah, yeah. You know, most places that Illinois have Illinois like that. Yeah, if you have three three DUIs, you're done for done. Yeah, Wisconsin does not have a three strike law for DUIs. There was a woman. Sorry to interject, but there was a woman. I remember reading stories. She had twelve DUIs. Yeah, I've always heard those stories. And you're but like, Wisconsin. Because Wisconsin cops are like, come on, Betty, get home, will you? And she's like, all right, you get it at home. They're like, wow, oh, shit. Gotta take you in. Come on. We got, will you follow us? Will you follow us? Can you, like, Wisconsin has that like drinking country lifestyle like, yeah, where they're like, I she's thought fine. you were queer. Yeah. <laughs> like falls asleep. Yeah, we got to take her in. On this fully loaded thing, you're definitely going to throw it out. I know. And then Diaz is there and Big J and... Uh, Diaz is going to give you guys all fucking stars, you know? I can't fuck with that shit. Dude, I'm terrible. I'm going to fake it. You know what he'll do? He'll do that. He'll be like, what are you, fucking Momo? And then he'll he'll be like, you're not going to do it? It's fucking... It's, yeah. It's fucking like a little chick in a Twink. skirt. And then he'll like he'll oh. cut a corner off, eat that. Okay. And you'll be like, all right. And then an hour later, you'll be like... <laughs> <laughs> Have you done that with him? Yeah, dude. Oh. I can't do that Nightmare. shit. Dude, that, I freak out. So I did his uh, podcast, this is like, I don't know how many, like seven, eight years ago. And he's like, eat one of these. I'm like, no. And he's like, why not? I'm like, because it's fucking 800 milligrams, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. So he cuts a corner off. Like, I'm telling you. He's like, eat that. And I'm like, all right. Like, that's literally, it's like... You could put it between these two little things and, mm -hmm. you know, it tastes like you're eating a crumb of a cookie or something. Right. So I'm like, this is fine. I sit there. We do the podcast like this. By the end of it, I'm like, ah. <laughs> and I don't realize how fucked up I am, right? I'm, I'm like, all right, it's good to see you, man. I go downstairs. I have my car out front. I get on. I put on the, the, the directions and it's like, make a right onto the freeway. And I drive straight and i was like oh shit it was like it was right there I'm oh like, fuck. Yeah. so i go all right i'll turn around so i turn around and now it says make a left <laughs> on the freeway i drive past it again i'm like motherfucker oh boy so then i turn around again and as i'm pulling up to that entrance i'm just i mean i'm not doing anything wrong but i look to my left and it's lapd and i'm like <gasps> like i'm oh. just like panicked you know oh, yeah so i instead of turning on the freeway i'm like don't get on the freeway you're too fucked up i just go straight i pull on to ventura which is like the big street in the in the valley i pull into a ralph's parking lot and i just put the car in park and i'm like fuck and i just turn my head to the right and in the car next to me looking at me like this is dice <laughs> No way. Yes, yes, I swear to God. And I'm like, <gasps> like I, and I'm, I feel like, you know, I'm tripping right now. Yeah, like I'm yeah. Just out of my mind. And I'm like, there's no way I can drive, right? There's no fucking way I can drive. So I call an Uber and the. You left your car? Yeah, I left my car at the route. <laughs> wow. And I'm so fucked up that, like, first of all, the Uber driver is a woman, which is pretty, like, kind of rare, I guess. Uh -huh. And I'm like, I'm cool. Don't worry. And she's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, there's no way I could do this right now. I keep telling her. I'm like, there's no way I could do this. She's like, okay. And I'm like, because I'm like super fucked up. And she's like, great. <laughs> and I just keep repeating it to her. I'm, yeah. like, I'm like, yeah, you know, I was like, just saw all the turns you made. There's no way I could handle this. She's like. <laughs> All right, man. Like, meanwhile, Diaz is doing his taxes. He's not even phased at all. He's fine, and he also ate like three. Ah, oh, yeah. And what he would do is like he that. would, you know, the funny thing he would do the podcast. He would talk at you for like seventy minutes straight, and then I was robbing this guy, and, <laughs> and then you're like, God. I remember and then, doing his pot. Literally, I got so many messages. Don't take the drugs. Oh, dude. I got oh, all. Wow. I got all those messages. Don't then, take the drugs. I was like, all right. All he right. He talks so much, and you actually feel like you're like at a show or something, right? You're nah. like, you're listening to him, <laughs> right. and then like you're so like kind of mesmerized by all the wild shit he's saying. And then he's like, "What's going on with you?" And you're like, "After that?" <laughs> like, and then I'm like, "I don't know. I uh, I just you know I have a book out." And then you look at him. And he's like, 
Oh, yeah. He's like zonked. Well, you know what's crazy is that like you're doing Colbert. It's like we're sending a COVID nurse. We're going to take care of you. You do Joey's podcast. You're going to get drugged. Yeah. Right. More yeah. people might listen to this. Oh, yeah. Right. Crazy. Good crazy. point. That's crazy to this me. This guy's kidnapped a person. He has an Uzi. <laughs> I remember that you used to encourage me to do this joke that would get me into trouble. Which one? <laughs> Latino computer. Oh, that's my favorite. I tell people that joke all the time. <laughs> really? I go, they people go, get so mad at me, man. That's my favorite. I tell people that joke all the time. They go, they go. Uh, What's Tom's act like before? I go. He used to have this really great joke about Latino computers. It was. A, it was a. Pl- it was a place on. I want to say it was on Vine or between Vine and Fountain. You know, between Fountain and like Santa Con- and it was called Latino Computers. That's what it said on a sign. So I, uh, the joke was. Uh, I La- joke- you used to do it real slow and calm. Real slow. Do you remember yeah. that? Did you, did you? Do you still do that style? Yeah, I mean, I, I do. Because I do, I, you seem like more fluid here. And then on stage, you go into a different tom. I'm usually like a, I'm usually a, a step slower on stage. Yeah. 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 It would go. It's, by the way, does it still exist if you type it in? I was just looking for it. No. Not no, easy to find. It doesn't come up. <laughs> no, it got okay. deported, the store. I saw, a pl- <laughs> <laughs> I saw a place called Latino Computers. Um, and I was like, Latino. You want me to com- do the joke for you? Do you, know, you remember the joke? Hell yeah, I remember the joke. I saw a st- I'm going to do it at your pace. Okay. I saw a store called Latino Computers. Latino Computers? Is that really how you really want to sell your store? Like, these computers aren't really, aren't very fast, but they work really hard. <laughs> and then the audience would always go, ooh, and you go, hey, it's better than black computers. They don't work at all, and they just talk a bunch of shit. <laughs> <laughs> When we went on a field trip once in uh, Milwaukee, and we went we went downtown, and we're at a stoplight, and this is like winter in Milwaukee, and there's this look like maybe like a nineteen to twenty year old black dude, skinny black dude, stand at the corner, and we're all like sitting at the windows. We're in like sixth grade. We're like, eh. and he just pulls his pants down, <laughs> takes his dick, and wags it at us all. Just shook it like that. <laughs> Like you had some extra drops in yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. And we were all like. <gasps> <laughs> then the bus takes off. Oh, we were like, teacher. <laughs> Miss Harlan. Like, it was the craziest. I mean, it was yeah. definitely it was still one of the biggest dicks I've ever seen. Right. I'll yeah. bet. I'll yeah. bet. He knew it, too. He, he knew what he had. It. Like, it's yeah. going to be decades. He's like, like, I'll just kick her out. Look at that. Oh, shit right here. <laughs> Homeless people love to show Super. you. Dick. And he waves his dick at <laughs> My first day on that job, by the way, my first day on the America's Most Wanted as a, as a full employee sure. is September 10th, 2001. Damn. In D.C. So I'm the, like my, my next, my second day of going to work is 9-11, <laughs> right? And like, and, and so then our whole, my whole show becomes like profiling we we just profiled bin laden every yeah, day, yeah. Right? Like, <laughs> still looking for him yeah. and, I, and i'm like at the white house you know what because we're doing pressers from like you know whatever they talk all they would talk about is terrorism so then they would send our crew to the white house so i would just be sitting on the lawn you know that west wing lawn yeah. just out there calling friends like i'm at the fucking white house <laughs> yeah and then flexing on people people would be like you know they can hear you right and i was like oh yeah like i'm just like fucking. yeah dude this place is fucking awesome where are you yeah. guys drinking at <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this guy's a cop i don't trust him did boomer ever get that weed what's the deal <laughs> tell me a joke to, to you is not the yeah, thing no, to say not the, yeah. Yeah, we, can, can you sit down yeah <laughs> you have to work it out in front of you <laughs> How much time do you have <laughs> yeah. for your joke? Sometimes it takes me a while to get there, you know? My I mean, dad took me to a lunch. He goes, I want you to go to lunch with my friend today. Yeah, this well, was like a couple of years. I was like, okay. And I go, the guy was in his 80s, okay, which is fine. But so the guy goes, like, immediately we sit down. He's like, I got one for you. I'm like, immediately I go, what, one what? He's like, so a guy walks into a bar, right? And he starts telling me these, like, street jokes. And I'm, like, giving, like, polite, that's a much older man. And right, I'm, right. He goes, now you go. <laughs> And I go, what? And he goes, tell me some of yours. And I go, oh, I don't, I don't have jokes like that. He goes, what the hell do you do up there? Your dad said you're a comedian. And I was like, they're longer. And he's like, okay, tell me one. I go, it's not, it's not going to work, man. And he's like, what the fuck? Did you do it though? No. The only time I ever did that, which was the worst experience of my life, was I did a call in one time to radio. I remember in, in Baltimore. Yeah. And I had a show coming up, and the guy's like, "Oh, you're going to be at the club." And blah, 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 blah. he's like, 
all right, let's hear something. And I go, nah, nah. Yeah, yeah he's like, just give me one. And I go, nah. <laughs> he's like, go ahead. Give it to us. Give us, give us a little taste. And I was like, okay. And I just started doing like a, a bit. Like I just went into a bit. Yeah. And it ended and he was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I just... I was sitting there in my hotel room like this, like, like, like I want to die. And then I hung up and then people started to message me. They're like, you're getting ripped apart by this radio guy right now, like as being an absolute piece of shit. Comedian. And look, I was like, he knew what he was doing. We fucking, we spent our lives hating these regional radio douchebags. Yeah. And I just can't believe we're all radio guys now. We are. We are. We are. We're, a, all, we're all radio guys. I had a bigger dick and they go, when, they're, when their dick's showing, they go, you know, it gets bigger. I always tell people, you know, it gets smaller because I'll see my dick at a stage that I think is small. And then later I'm like, what the fuck happened to that? Like it'll go <laughs> further up inside of me. If I do like... <laughs> Any type of so any type of like exercise, any cardio or something, I'll yeah. take my, it'll like invert itself, and I have to. But it grows like a thousand percent. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah. But I have I, to say, the other day I walked in on you and, and you were showering, mm. and you turn around, and I was like, "Damn!" Like you, you had a really good hang and yeah, because the, there's like and, there's days and there's moments and there, you know like. Why do you think that is? I don't know. I mean, you know, it, it could be like that day that you came in the shower or saw me i probably a hadn't ejaculated in like four days or something wow um and then i i um i wasn't scared i was <laughs> i was warm there was warm water in the yeah. shower yeah you know all the like the moon and everything aligned wasn't scared. yeah yeah does the I have I fear guess, fear I, will do it. Fear makes your well, dick our yes, everything will. Your body will go in I mean it doesn't mean that it happens to everybody but it, it's a like men in like if you are actually in fear like your testicles and everything will come in closer. Right. And your body's like um like uh, what's it called like saving mechanism where where it's like protect yourself. Yeah. So for me like yeah I remember one time we had these movers come in and dude had like I was like making sure that uh we were like in a bad neighborhood dude's all like tatted on the neck and stuff and i pulled her aside i go my dick's so small right now because i was like watching these guys go through our house okay <laughs> my dick's so yeah. small right now. yeah what a weird that's what you wanted to let her know not yeah. hey you watch like, these guys but my dick's like, real small guys, my dick's really small <laughs> you got me locked down with your hazel brown eyes oh you